having a good quality product or offer, being a, you know, a, a great tutor, it's not enough. It's just not. And that's what keeps people stuck is this belief that if I just, if I just provide a better product, if I just provide a better service, that will grow my business or that will give me more clients or that will get me noticed. What folks need to remember, and you know, I wanna invite folks to, to, to burn this in their brain. Whenever a prospect comes into contact with your business, that is marketing. The number one reason why people will say things like, well, I have all the word of mouth referrals that I need. Why would I ever need to market? It all boils down to fear. Differentiate. Number one, you have to do something different to get noticed. If you can't get noticed, you won't get business. What I've learned, I would say that the biggest takeaway for me personally in watching people go through this, utilizing this framework, and we'll get to the framework, I'm sure, but watching people, and specifically business owners uh, or, or solopreneurs, is watching the dots connect between better is not better, different is better. But I will tell you, as a fun aside, and as a, as a fun side project, uh, I have started to do research and am investigating how to create my own rum, my own rum brand. Hello and welcome to the Qualified Tutor Podcast the podcast that brings you the latest in the world of tutoring, edtech, and education, and, hopefully, inspires in you the big change that each and every one of us is capable of. Qualified Tutor is an industry-leading tutor training organization and online tutoring community for thousands of tutors around the world. This podcast is the voice of this community, where we aim to hear from tutors, teachers, entrepreneurs, coaches, business experts, students, tutorpreneurs, and more from the world of tutoring about what inspires them every day, how they can help tutors like you, and what they've learned about tutoring along the way. The question is, what will you learn today? Hello and welcome to the next episode of the Qualified Tutor Podcast. Today we have a, an extra special guest, and that guest is Justin Wise. Justin is the co-founder of The Different Company, alongside uh, previous Qualified Tutor podcast guest, Mike Michalowicz. Um, so alongside Mike, Justin has built a brand that quite simply does things differently. A former pastor in a church in uh, West Des Moines in Iowa, Justin has been, how do we say, at the forefront of understanding the changing face of the digital world ever since he hacked into, or he hacked his college's email address uh, after graduating just so that he could create a Facebook account, which I think is a, is a wonderful story. And now with over 24,000 entrepreneurs subscribed to his, his email messaging, his, his newsletter, Justin has built quite a following along this way, uh, along the way. Just this year, and now with over 24,000 entrepreneurs subscribed to his, his email messaging, his, his newsletter, Justin has built quite a following along the way. Just this year, Mike Michalowicz released the book, Get Different. It is the culmination of a whole career of thinking from both Mike and Justin about how businesses can market themselves in a way that will get their name out there every single time. So without further ado, let's find out how. Thank you so much, Justin, for joining us today uh, on the Qualified Tutor podcast. Uh, it's a real pleasure to have you on, uh, and it's been great getting to know your colleague and, and partner in crime, Mike McCallowitz, over a, a few episodes on the podcast uh, in, in the past. So we're going to jump right in, Justin, uh, if that's okay with you. Yeah. Of course, you're primed and ready to go. So 
The question I'm going to hit you with is one that we we always start our, our, our episodes with. It's one that really gets allows the audience to get to know you uh, as a guest and you as as a as a professional. So that question is, Justin, what is your why? Long story short, uh, my why is maximizing freedom. So you know, part of the ways that has a bunch of different applications in my life. Uh, you know, certainly with my family, just myself personally, what I eat, how, how I you know work out the, the, my schedule during the day, but all those things put aside in our, for, for our context here, it's, you know, helping folks really understand, okay, who am I? What do I do really well? And how can I, you know, introduce more people to what I do really well. Uh, because when, when you focus on an understanding of what you do really well, it makes everything a million times easier. And so for our context here, you know, for, for listeners, it's really saying, okay, I have this skill uh, and other people on the planet have this skill. And so it's not enough anymore to just have this skill if I want to get noticed, I actually have to make an effort to get noticed uh, so people can, uh, can see how great I am at this skill. Uh, and so, so that's, at least with Get Different, that's what I've really focused on. And it certainly has broader applications in my life, but that's, that's what gets me up in the morning. Wonderful. Um, so let's hear more about, about get, get Different. This is obviously the, the book that you, um, that you as the different company, Mike McCulloch has, has, has released. What, what have you learned about the advice and, and teachings in, in your own work through this? What I've learned, I would say the, the biggest takeaway for me personally in watching people go through this, utilizing this framework, and we'll get to the framework, I'm sure, but watching people, and specifically business owners uh, or, or solopreneurs, is watching the dots connect between better is not better, different is better. So in, in our business lives, we often will market our, ourselves and say things like, you know, uh, or, or we believe internally that we have a better product, a better service, a better offer. We're a better tutor than, you know, 99% of the people out there. But that's not enough. And that's what keeps people stuck, is this belief that if I just, if I just provide a better product, if I just provide a better service, that will grow my business, or that will give me more clients, or that will give me notice. And if the story ends there, it's really sad and frustrating story because you, you, you have this belief and you know, I like to say a good product does not market itself. You know, the, the, the common saying is a great product will do your marketing for you. Yeah. It's, just not true. it's not true. It's just categorically not true. Will it help? Sure. It'll help, but it won't do the heavy lifting. And so the fun part about what I get to do is watching people, watching the light go on with that concept. So they know that they're good at what they do. They know that they're skilled at their craft, but they also understand I have to do something to get noticed. Uh, having a good quality product or offer, being a, you know, a, a great tutor, it's not enough. It's just not. And so, so flipping that switch has been a great joy for me because when people get it, they get it and they run with it and they are in control of their business growth uh, and their, their opportunities in a way that they hadn't been able to you know, influence prior to that. Yeah. So Justin, I'm, I'm dying to know, I know many of our listeners, listeners are as well. Um, and perhaps you can just give us a flavor without revealing the entire secret behind it. But, but what is this, this fra- what is the framework behind the get different philosophy? <clears throat> the framework's super simple, and we we created it that way on purpose because what's simple gets executed. What's what is simple gets worked on. All our entire framework fits on a page, and it's super simple. Like I said, I'll walk through it right now. 
it boils down to differentiate, attract, and direct. DAD. It's an easy acronym to remember. Uh, and there's three parts to it when it comes to marketing or creating marketing that gets noticed. Differentiate. Number one, you have to do something different to get noticed. If you can't get noticed, you won't get business. So it's looking around and saying, how can I do something different or say something different than the other people in my field? Because that's going to get noticed. You know, <clears throat> best practices in our world is a, is a, is a four letter word because best practices is a surefire way to get ignored uh, and passed over. Why? Because everybody else is doing them. So you have to do something to get noticed. You have to do something different to get noticed. That's differentiate. Attract. Attract is provide your ideal prospect with an ideal or, or, or with an attractive opportunity. Uh, and that is super important to keep in mind because oftentimes as business owners, as solopreneurs, we think to ourselves, oh, hey, well, this is attractive. I think this is attractive. Meaning, you know, I'm going to put this offer, this invitation, this whatever to work together in front of my ideal prospect and that's attractive to them. And in many cases, it's not. <laughs> it's not. We think it's attractive because it helps us, but it's not attractive to them. So they either ignore it or run away from it. They ignore it because it's irrelevant. They run away from it because it's a threat. They perceive that opportunity as a threat. And that threat could be anything from changing the way that they live their lives. It could be the threat could be it's too expensive. The threat could be it's complicated. The threat could be any of those things. Or it could be irrelevant, meaning they don't perceive that your offer is relevant to them. It doesn't help them in any way. It's not relevant to their lives. So the opportunity you put in front of people to work together or do whatever has to be attractive. And now, just a quick word from the CEO and co-founder of sponsors of Day 2 at the Love Tutoring Festival, The Profs. Hey, it's Richard from The Profs. We're so excited to be sponsoring Love Tutoring Festival 2. We think tutors deserve a pay rise, and I'll be chatting with tutors on day two about how they can make 2022 their best ever financial year of tutoring. So join us at the festival, or if you can't wait till then, check us out at theprofs.co.uk. And then finally, direct. Direct is probably the, the simplest part of the process, but it's oftentimes overlooked or misunderstood because oftentimes we believe that the ideal prospect after we've gotten their attention through differentiation and we've put an attractive opportunity in front of them, they're simply just going to know what to do next. And oftentimes that's not the case. Oftentimes our ideal prospects leave confused. Even if we've done differentiate and attract correctly, they leave confused because they don't know what it is you want them to do. And so direct says you have to make that clear, actionable, reasonable, specific. Do this thing. Go here now. Buy this program. You know, sign up for my services, whatever. It has to be clear. It has to tell them exactly what the next step is that you want them to take. And that's it. It's all right there. I'm, I'm when you put it like that, it feels like every single professional should be should be implementing it. Um, well, I think so. Well, of course you do. Just that's why you're here. That's why you do what you do. Uh, why why don't people do this then, Justin? That's a, perhaps a tricky question. But why why don't people put this into action? <clears throat> the biggest number one reason why folks will not implement this it's very very simple. It's fear. Um, it all boils down to fear. Fear of doing something different, fear of standing out, fear of the unknown, fear of looking silly or dumb or, uh, you know, the fear of being ostracized from a community. It, all, it goes back to our primal instincts as human beings, right? So back in the day, uh, being back ostracized, day. <laughs> yeah. way, way back in the day, being ostracized meant death. If you were ostracized from your caveman community or, or cave person community, you didn't have protection. You didn't have uh, a, a, a posse to roll with. And it most oftentimes meant 
certain death. Uh, that's not the case anymore. But our brains still believe that that's the case. And so it takes an act of courage to do something different. So the number one reason why people don't do different, why people will continue to do what everybody else is doing, which guarantees that they'll be ignored. The number one reason why people will, uh, you know, want to ignore marketing and hope that it'll just go away. The number one reason why people will say things like, well, I have all the word of mouth referrals that I need. Why would I ever need to market? It all boils down to fear. And that ultimately is what we help people kind of transition through is that, is that fear of doing different, right? Um, because ultimately it's not, it's not, Hey, you, you can't learn your way out of fear, right? There's no, uh, there's no book. There's no, uh, you know, seminar, there's no anything that can learn you out of fear. The only way to push past fear is by actually doing. It's by actually doing different. That's why our member calls are called doing different calls. Is because listen, I don't care. I don't care if you've read the book. I don't care if you've gone through the the training in our program. What I care about is, are you actually doing this stuff? Because it's not head knowledge that pushes you past fear. It's tactical knowledge. It's actually going out there and doing something different, seeing what works and seeing what doesn't, adjusting, retweaking, and then heading back into implementation. It's time as well, isn't it? People think that their time needs to be spent on their processes, but actually it's their processes that are keeping them the same as everyone else. And People f- don't feel like they have the time to, to sit and think about how to be different. Uh, yeah. I mean, you don't listen like, and, and I've worked now uh, both uh, in, in my days of, as an agency owner and now working with hundreds of entrepreneurs in our accelerator. You know, I've worked with all types of businesses, large, small, everywhere in between every niche industry you can think of. And what I've found to be true is unless you're a global multinational brand with, you know, several different marketing budgets and teams and, you know, folks working across continents, you really don't need a marketing plan. I know that's something like, that might sound crazy, but like I, I see so many uh, entrepreneurs who will spend months developing a marketing plan. And the more they develop the plan, the more complex it becomes. The more complex it becomes, the less likely they are to implement and the less likely they are to implement, the more they stay stuck. That's why we've made our system so simple. In the framework, you know, you heard me go through it. It took me, what, five minutes, maybe? Uh, that's it. And if you implement on that, you will see change. But these, these, these marketing plans and uh, the time folks spend on them, it's most unfortunately almost always a waste of time. Okay, so... If, if, us as, if, if we as business owners, if we're constantly trying to get noticed and, and to be different, then contrary to what you're saying, isn't everything marketing? Yes, 100%. Uh, everything, when, when a prospect comes into contact with your business, that's marketing. Now, some people might call it branding. Some people might say, oh, you know, it's our it's our brand journey, it's our logo, it's sales, it's, it's our onboarding, all that stuff. What folks need to remember, and you know, I want to invite folks to, to, to burn this in their brain. Whenever a prospect comes into contact with your business, that is marketing. So your website's marketing, your social media content is marketing. The way you onboard clients is marketing. The way you show up on sales calls, marketing. Uh, it's all marketing. So, so, so for me, it's easy to lump everything, branding, sales, you know, uh, customer experience, customer journey. It's all marketing on some level because no matter what goes under that umbrella, differentiate, attract, direct still applies. It applies to how you create offers. It applies to how you recruit team members. Uh, one of my private clients, we just walked through uh, the dad framework for how she hires people because that's marketing. It's a smaller audience, but it's still marketing. So, so yeah, in that sense, everything is marketing. Um, 
it doesn't fit nice and neat and clean into the categories that I think sometimes we want it to. <laughs> I, I think that's a, the M word is a, is a scary word, isn't it? For, for, for yeah. business people. Um, but maybe, so part of what you're saying is that don't let it be this, this huge kind of conceptual idea. It's actually much more everyday and much more achievable than we think it is. Absolutely. Marketing is so nebulous. That's why we want to give it handlebars with the dad framework is because, and listen, like, yeah, we've got a book on it. Mike wrote the book on it. I'm building the business around it. You, what I just said will help if people take that, what we just talked about and implement it in their business, that's going to take care of their market. It's going to give them a grid in which to create marketing. And as I mentioned, it gets handlebars, it puts handlebars around marketing. So it's not so scary. It doesn't feel so you know, nebulous and large and looming. It breaks it down. It puts handlebars on it and helps people start steering the ship. Okay, so uh, if that's okay, we, I'm, I'm going to kind of explore the, the, the next stages of implementing this strategy. What does, what does one do once they've got different, once they have that, that, that different strategy say that a, a different way <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm perhaps trying to yeah i'm coming at this from the right from the wrong angle get different is a process right not yeah. a step yeah it totally it's a framework it's a grid in which to think so it's not you know sometimes with marketing we, we i talk to, to folks who, who just are joining our accelerator and they, they want like a certain set of tactics, at least when they start. They want the, you know, go do Facebook ads or they want the get a messenger bot going or they want, uh, you know, whatever the trend is your is. And the reality, like, I don't care about trends. I don't pay attention to trends. I, tactical trends, they, they matter not with the get different framework because you know, you can plug and play. And so, so, so but if, if we give you the ability to think through your marketing with differentiate, attract, and direct, you could use Facebook ads, you could use billboards, you could use websites or cold calls or cold emails. The, the bag of tricks, your strategy then isn't dependent on a bag of tricks. Your strategy is dependent on this grid, this framework in which to work. So then you can apply any sort of different tactics that you want some, you know, a lot of the folks who are just starting out in our accelerator, I tell them, listen, I don't want you to spend any money. I want you to use what you already have and don't, don't go out and spend any money at all. Use what you have. Get the framework working with what you already have. Then when your marketing starts bringing in more opportunities, which leads to more sales, that's when you can go out and spend money, uh, but not before. It, it works what, whatever platform or whatever you know, medium you use. It works whether you spend money or don't spend money. It works if you spend a lot of time on something or not, not a lot of time on it. It just works. So the, the, there's no end date to get different? There's, there's no end date. Project completion date? Nope. The only thing that you would have an end date on, so just so people don't go completely nuts, uh, we, we put the get different framework oftentimes in what we call experiments. So normally you would call those campaigns, uh, but we call those experiments because the phrasing is important, right? Experiments aren't so much right and wrong. Experiments are about learning. What did I learn, uh, from this experiment about my audience, about my business, about marketing. And so we'll say, Hey, let's do seven day experiment. Let's do a 30 day experiment. Let's do a 90 day experiment and try these things out. And then at the end of that, we, we say, okay, what worked and what didn't? Or what, what did I learn? What did I not learn? Or how can I do this different next time? And so, but you're right. The overall process of doing different, you know, Mike's been doing this for 15 years. I've been doing a variation of this for, you know, close to five years. Um, and it'll, it'll never stop. It's something that you can use in any business, in any endeavor, from now until kingdom come. So it never stops. It never stops. It never sleeps. It never stops.
For those of you who know the Love Tutoring Festival, you'll be delighted to hear that we're back. From Monday the 24th to Friday the 28th of January 2022, the Love Tutoring Festival will return, bigger and better than ever. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, you're in for a real treat. The most loved festival in tutoring, the Love Tutoring Festival is a five-day online celebration of all things tutoring, with some of the biggest names in tutoring, education and pedagogy, and hundreds of committed and motivated tutors from all four corners of the globe taking part, it really is the biggest party in tutoring. We will again be working on a freemium ticket model this year, with all events totally free, apart from our famous and ludicrously inexpensive CPD accredited workshops. You can find out more, including the confirmed speakers so far, how to grab your place, and key information on our wonderful sponsors at qualifiedtutor.org slash love tutoring festival. Let's raise standards in tutoring together. So, Justin... Just to just to bring to close here, I know I know you you've got pressing commitments. What what's next for Justin Wise? You know that is a great question. <laughs> uh, the truth be told, you know right now what we're focused on making the accelerator is helping entrepreneurs implement get different in their businesses to the highest degree possible to give them the highest probability of success that they could possibly want in their business. And so for right now, for the foreseeable future, that's what I'm focused on. But I will tell you as a fun aside and as a, as a fun side project, uh, I have started to do research and am investigating how to create my own rum, my own <laughs> rum brand. No way. Yeah. So, so, so part of the fun is being able to say, okay, I really want to challenge myself here. And how can I take the get different framework and apply it to an industry and a vertical and a niche that I have zero experience outside of being a consumer because I love high quality rum. So, so how can I use this framework and develop my own rum? And uh, I've learned more about the, the spirit distillery process in the last six months than probably 99% of the planet. So that's been a fun side project, but uh, right now it's all systems go on the Get Different Accelerator. But part of me thinks you've never explained that on a public forum before. No, I haven't. <laughs> Not once. Well, I apologize for coercing you into that then, Justin. <laughs> um, I'm happy to do it. Yeah, well, let's get you back on in four years when either you're just some rum-induced alcoholic or you're, you've built the coolest, most, the slickest rum brand in the world. <laughs> um, I'll send you a bottle. How about that? That would be, that would be very kind. Um, mm-hmm. So just before we finish here, Justin, how can people find out more about and book onto the Accelerator? Easiest place is to pick up our Get Different kit. It's totally free. You can get that at differentcompany.co, differentcompany.co. Like I said, we have a Get Different kit, a bunch of the different free tools that will help you implement the framework we talked about. You can sign up and we'll send that to you for free. Sounds pretty good to me. Justin, thank you very, very much for coming on. Dear dear listeners, the next time you will see Justin in a cutie sense will be at the Love Tutoring Festival too uh, on Tuesday, the 25th of January. Justin is joining us for an evening UK time slot uh, to talk about about Leads for Life. So uh, don't miss out on Justin there. He may just give you all a bottle of his new rum. Perhaps it's too (laughs) soon. I can't make any promises. Justin, you're an absolute hero. Thank you so much for coming on uh, and we'll see you again next time. My pleasure. Thanks for the invite. Now, as you may have seen, those of you who within the Qualified Tutor community, we are rolling out a new feature which will allow you, our members, to become involved in the Qualified Tutor podcast episodes. We want to hear your voice. So listen in and hear what the community had to say about the questions that we asked this week's guest, Justin Wise. 
Hey, Qualified Tutor, it's Lucy from Education Boutique. I thought um, that if you are constantly trying to be different, then you have to ask yourself what for. Because if you're trying to be different from your kind of authentic, natural self, then it's going to possibly seem not particularly authentic when you are engaging with other people because you're constantly battling with your own brain about what you should be doing, what society, what what you think is going to work to be different from everybody else. But if everyone else is doing similar things, look at it, identify what works for other people, just always listen and always look at what other people are doing and use it to inform your own practice in terms of your own marketing. But I think the key to marketing is just engaging authentically with communities such as Qualified Tutor, with clients, finding out where you think that they will be and just being yourself. Um, So I would say try not to focus on being different, but just focus on being yourself. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Qualified Tutor Podcast. Whether you're a regular listener of this podcast or you've just stumbled across it, join the Qualified Tutor Podcast group within the Qualified Tutor community to stay up to date with our latest news, offers, workshops, and of course, simply to meet other tutors like you. Whatever your level as a tutor, our training courses will be the next step in your professional development. Visit qualifiedtutor.org slash training to find out more about our CPD accredited and Ofqual recognised courses, the first of their kind in the tutoring industry. Your student deserves the best tutor possible. Make that happen today by joining Qualified Tutor.